Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. And this one is brought to you by the letter B and the letter F. And uh, yeah, very much sticking with the theme of the week for my videos on the channel. Um, doing some Jabba's Throne Room. I had a look at the Clone Wars Jabba the Hutt on the Clone Wars Thursday throwback video yesterday. Today we're looking at Power of the Force 2's very own Bib Fortuna. Unfortunately, I no longer have the Kenner Kenner equivalent to sort of compare it to, but I do have a couple of others here to share. So we'll take a look at this one. Let me move the stand aside. Stand aside. Bring that light around a little bit more. There we go. And he's always got to be that shifty eye. Like he's just looking aside like... What's going on over there? I don't trust you. Yeah, <laughs> he's always been... He's always been one of my favourite sort of interesting looking characters, I'll be honest. He's, he's very strange. He's got some armour on underneath. That didn't save him from Boba Fett. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is about Mr. Fortuna. He's just... just Always been a very interesting character. I always refer to that scene in Return of the Jedi where it makes me laugh every time because I can't unsee it now. There's the scene where um, you know Jabba's got Leia and he's sort of saying to Leia, you know, soon you will learn to appreciate me. And Bib Fortuna is all happy, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is this is good. This is good. I'm really enjoying this. And then Jabba like licks, pokes his tongue out and twirls his tongue at Leia. And you look at the look on Bib Fortuna's face. He just goes from complete and utter joy to just complete disgust in what he's seeing. Whether it's him being disgusted at Jabba, you know, his gross tongue, it probably stinks. Either that or he, was, or he thought he could have a crack at Leia himself. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's to be determined. <laughs> whether it was intentional in the cut I doubt it but that's just the way it turned out and I, I just can't unsee that scene now it's so much fun uh, makes me laugh but yeah I've, I've always liked the colours of Bib Fortuna the, you know, the skin tone of the Twi'lek you know, he's got the weird his tails are a little bit stranger You know, he's got the elongated cranium it feels very unique because I don't know if all Twi'leks have the sort of the weird chin thing or whether it's just because he's a little bit I don't know, on the chunky side, I haven't done my study for my for the Twi'lek anatomy. But, um, yeah, the way the head tail sort of wraps around the front. One figure I would love to see in any scale, and that is Bib Fortuna's cousin from Rogue One, Beza Fortuna. Now, if you want to get a look at a cracked out looking Twi'lek, search for Beza Fortuna, B-E-E-Z-E-R Fortuna. He is apparently Bib Fortuna's cousin. He is part of Saw Gerrera's um, crew on Jeddah. He can be seen as you get the first sort of pan through of Saw Gerrera's base. He sort of does this little look up from, from one of the tables. But yeah, here's the most recent, well, the second most recent version of Bib Fortuna. This is the vintage collection version. An absolute standout figure. You know, he still sits on shelves today. Understandably, he's not, you know, a super popular character. He's not a main character. Um, but damn, this is a good figure. So nice. And the other figure I'd love to see is a version of Bib Fortuna from The Phantom Menace. But here we have Fat Bib still on card. You know what? I am so close to opening this thing. <laughs> I've been debating it for about three days now. Um, and I just look at the figure inside the box, I'm like, I'm going to have so much more fun playing with that figure, so I'm probably going to end up opening him, reviewing him, and, um, yeah, stay tuned, but, you know, arguably, the Power of the Force one is sort of a little on the chunky side, you know, maybe not to that extent, but, now, yeah, Bib Fortuna did come with a blaster pistol. Again, it's the, it seems to be the case with my Power of the Force collection. All the weapons have gotten mixed up over the years. Some have gone missing. Um, some, because figures I've bought loose. And, 
you know, just having extra weapons. So he just gets a, a sort of a, a, a random blaster. And that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. One day I'd love to complete my Power of the Force collection and have them complete with all the accurate weapons and all that. But for now, <laughs> it's just about getting all the characters, which is what I did with the Kenner stuff um, for the most part. Um, but yeah, Power of the Force, you know, is my baby. That's why I do these videos every week. I love Power of the Force 2. Um, if you're watching from last week, I did replace my dash render. I did get a new dash render. I was very happy. Um, so yeah, there is Bib. Bib Fortuna. Still a pretty solid version of Power of the Force. I never got the, uh... I never got the Fortuna from, I think it was the original trilogy collection, the Saga collection, I think it was the original trilogy collection from 04. Could be wrong, it's either 04 or 06, <laughs> one of those years. Um, the more years we go further forward, the less I remember from the past. But um, yeah, I never did get that bit of Fortuna, so I waited a long time between Power of the Force and the vintage collection of 2021, perhaps? Bib Fortuna. Still, wonderful, wonderful figures of a really quite cool character, to be honest. You know, bringing him back in, in the Book of Boba Fett. Well, technically, the Mandalorian, but the, with for the teaser of uh, Book of Boba Fett was so cool. So cool. But yeah, stay tuned, because I'm probably going to bust this one open. I can't wait. But this has been Bib Fortuna. Hope you join me next week for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. And until then, day one, Wanga. We would be honoured if you would join us.